I live? Okay, cool. What are the top technical tools you always wanted to learn to make your presentations more engaging and effective? Are you curious about how to use technical tools to create more memorable and impactful presentations? And are you interested in learning how to create more visually stunning and interactive presentations that captivate your audience? Well, today I'm excited to share some tips and tricks with you on how to create engaging and impactful presentations where we will be discussing PowerPoint, Keynote, and Google Slides, as well as other presentation tools for public speakers. And I'm excited to share some tips and tricks with you on how to create engaging and impactful presentations. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Deborah Northcutt, your speaker support concierge. Welcome to the Sensational Speakers Lounge Show. I go live every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time or Central Daylight Time right now. I forgot about the time change. Now, our topic for today is power up your presentations, tips and tricks for those using technical tools. Now, for those of you who are out there in the audience, let me know where you're watching from. Put your information and comments in the box so we can connect with you and network. And share this live with your friends, fans, and any other speaker that needs to hear this message. Now, if you're watching the replay of this live, make sure that you use the hashtag replay and leave your comments and messages in the comment box. And I'll make sure that I circle back around and answer any questions that you might have. Now, for those of you who show up live today, I have a free gift for you. It's a checklist of 24 support activities that I can do for you make sure you go to bit.ly forward slash support activities for your free gift. Now today, I'm going to be discussing the three top presentation slides to use, how to use their features to your advantage, and why your slides need to be clean and easy to read. So let's get started. We're going to start out with PowerPoint. PowerPoint is one of the most popular presentation tools out there, and it's a great choice for speakers who want to visually, who want to create visually appealing slides. Now with PowerPoint, you can add images, videos, charts, and graphs to your slides to help convey your message more effectively. Now, some tips for using PowerPoint slides include keep it simple. Don't overcrowd your slides with too much text or images. You want to keep your side slides clean and easy to read. Use high quality images. Make sure that the images you use are high quality and relevant to your topic. Pictures tell a story, so you want to make sure that the pictures that you're using are relevant to the slide. You know, you can find free stock images online that are perfect for your presentations. Some free sites are Pixabay, Pexels, and Unsplash. Of course, there's a lot more free sites out there. You can always Google free stock sites, and you can come up with more sites to use for your presentations. Now, if you're using animation and transitions on your slide, make sure that you use them sparingly. While animations and transitions can add visual interest to your slides, too many animations can be distracting. Use them sparingly to enhance your message and not detract from it. You want to make sure that your audience is paying attention to you and not your slides. Now let's move on to Keynote. This presentation tool is popular among Apple users and is known for its sleek 
and modern design. Keynote offers many of the same features as PowerPoint, but with a more user-friendly interface. Some tips for using Keynote include, take advantage of the templates. Keynote offers a variety of templates to choose from. So take advantage of them to save time and create a consistent look for your presentation. Now use the presenter display. The presenter display in Keynote allows you to see your notes and upcoming slides while your audience sees only the current slides. This can help keep you on track and avoid getting lost during your presentation. Use the magic move feature. Keynote's magic move feature allows you to create smooth transitions between slides, making your presentation feel more polished and professional. Finally, let's talk about Google Slides. Google Slides is a cloud-based presentation tool that's great for collaboration and it's easy for sharing. Now, some tips for using Google Slides include using the Explore feature. The Explore feature in Google Slides allows you to search images, videos, and relevant websites to add to your presentation. How cool is that? This can save you time and make your presentation more engaging. Now take advantage of real-time collaboration. Google Slides allows multiple people to work on the same presentation in real time, making it a great choice for group presentations or team projects. Use add-ons. Google Slides offers a variety of add-ons that can help you create more engaging presentations, such as Unplash, Unsplash add-on for finding high quality images. Remember before I mentioned Unsplash as a free stock site? They definitely have free high quality images. So make sure you use Unsplash for your slides. Or you can use the pair deck add-on feature for adding interactive questions to your slides. So there you have it. Some tips and tricks for using PowerPoint, Keynote, and Google Slides and other presentation tools for public speakers. Remember, the key to a great presentation is to keep it simple, visually appealing, and focused on your message. Happy presenting. Now, don't forget to download your free gift. Go to bit.ly forward slash support activities for your free gift. And I go live every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time on the Sensational Speakers Lounge Show. Thanks for watching. I'm Deborah Northcutt, your speaker support concierge. See you next Thursday at 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bye for now.